I'm Robin Koop. I'm the group leader for instrumentation at the BC Cancer Genome Sciences Centre in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm responsible for a number of things at the Genome Sciences Centre, uh, particularly liquid handling for sample prep automation for DNA sequencing, uh, recently single cell genomics, uh, and then also work involving improving tumor content in samples coming from biopsy. So we've had a wonderful project involving collaborations with our lab, uh, the, Sam Apparici the lab of Sam Apparicio at the Cancer Research Center and the Carl Hansen lab at UBC involving developing single cell DNA sequencing sample prep uh, in an open nano well structure using the various versions of the Cyflex array, the cell in one now and the S3 to populate the, the chip with various reagents and cells to do these reactions. The Cyflex array really enables uh, the work we're doing because what we need to do is first of all spot at about the one nanoliter scale cells and then a few nanoliters for lysis reagents and then a few more nanoliters for tagmentation reaction and so forth and the Cyflex array is spatially accurate it's volumetrically accurate and it has a cell in one feature where when we're spotting cells we can actually spot each cell one after another into the well rather than a Poisson distribution and this actually enables much better downstream chemistry behavior uh, and so really without the Cyflex array and cell in one we really wouldn't be able to do this work that we're doing. My name is Joshua Cantlin and I do sales and product development for Cyneon. The cell in one single cell dispensing platform is an automation robot capable of dispensing single cells to a variety of substrates for a multitude of applications including single cell cloning, single cell omics, and other co-culturing assays where we can aspirate in an automated fashion multiple cell lines from a well plate and dispense them into a variety of substrates. The primary benefits of the cell in one single cell dispenser are the ability to isolate single cells in your well plate or your custom substrates using optical methods rather than having to pre-label your cells with fluorescence. Also being able to recover up to 99% of the cells in a sample for especially rare cell applications including clinical applications is something that's very uh, interesting to a lot of researchers because a lot of the kind of droplet-based microfluidics, you'll lose 70% of the cells. Here we can keep all of the cells. Another benefit of the cell-in-one single cell dispenser is the ability to automate aspiration from multiple wells of a source plate. So you can, uh, in one run, fully automated, aspirate multiple samples from different cultures and dispense them into uh, kind of multiple plates.